Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I actually wasn't planning on filming this today, but I know that my next like week and a half, next, well, really two weeks from now is gonna be super, super busy. So I wanted to go ahead and film it, but I wanted to film a must have for moms little video, just some things that help me get through labor and delivery, the newborn stage, the end of pregnancy, all of those things that you know it's important to take care of yourself as a as a person in general um as a late pregnant into motherhood um you know just motherhood in general there's so many hormones going on it is important that you know you take care of yourself too so these are just some things that I have that have helped me whether mentally emotionally physically things that helped I wanted to mention. First, I want to mention kind of the more personal things that help me, um, that help me feel more like me, help just in general, like I said. First, I definitely, you have to have your own outlet. Um, that is very important. Postpartum, depression, baby blues, they're a real thing and they're real scary, but I would definitely say if you're a journaler, getting a journal, something like that, or something that you could read or watch or listen to just to give yourself kind of a mental break. So for me, I love watching YouTube videos. Um, that's kind of my outlet for a lot of things or just having somebody that you could talk to, maybe even besides your husband. So for me, I feel like I was very honest and open with my sister. Um, she would check in on me and I feel like that's really important. So if you know somebody in your life who is about to give birth or just gave birth, please, please check on them. It means the world. You might not realize it as a first time mom, but I feel like as a second time mom, having my sister who was there and she was always asking me like, well, not always asking, but asking me if I was okay or how I was doing or what I needed or anything like that. And she didn't try to make things better if they weren't better she was just there and I feel that was really helpful for me also my Starbucks gift card <laughs> like going and getting a Starbucks that it, it doesn't take me very long to go and get it if I were gonna go get it but going and getting coffee or something special that's yours that you can if you can sneak away for a few moments or even if you have to bring you know the baby with you something to me about driving and hearing my music and getting my coffee and having it <laughs> that is very helpful so that's what i wanted to start off with is that the thing that makes you feel like you things that help you have a support system if you're able to and if you don't have a support system be your own support system you know like i said do things for you it's okay to take a break, I promise it's actually best. <laughs> I have found with our son, I feel like I didn't um, take moments for myself very often, like just little moments, it doesn't have to be long. I feel like I didn't do that. Um, and I think that it is important too, and it's very helpful. The next thing, comfy clothes. They make me feel more like me, especially after you just give birth. And even me, I'm not two months, but well, I might be closer to two months postpartum whenever you see this. And my body still isn't back the way it was. And that is okay. You just birthed the human. You spent nine months, you know, growing and changing. It's not going to snap back instantly. And that's okay. But having comfy clothes. So for me, I like, well, I like graphic t-shirts, but having something that still makes you feel like you can make you feel pretty, but you, you know, it's okay. Just wear the comfy clothes because you need to be comfortable sometimes too. I mean, if you want to look really nice, that is great. But for me, it's my comfy clothes. They make me feel like me and I feel still good in them. So that I feel like whenever I would try to wear something like before pregnancy or something that I would have worn before pregnancy, that was maybe nicer right now. It doesn't fit right. And so then I feel worse about myself. So to me, that's why the comfy clothes are real nice. 
Last thing, kind of, this is kind of mental and physical, but some nice skincare. Something, again, that you can take a little bit of time during, before, after your shower to just kind of refresh you, I think is really important. Um, I'll link my natural skincare, makeup, body care line below. I, well, it's always linked below if you want to check it out. Please feel free, uh, but you don't have to. But again, skincare, it doesn't have to be the most luxurious or cost the most money, but just something that you can take a few seconds to do for you, like putting on your moisturizer or getting like a, a spray, a skin spray. I can't think of what it's called right now, but something like that that can just kind of uplift you, I feel like is really nice to have. Another thing that I think we might not think about, and I don't think I thought about it as much with my first one postpartum, but I have a water bottle and I feel like that helps get me through. <laughs> I remember to fill it up. I use it, I take it with me wherever I go because I feel like it is really important to drink your water, especially right after pregnancy and things like that, or even during pregnancy and just in general in life. I feel like I can tell whenever I don't have enough water or I didn't have enough water the day before, it's important drink the water. I'll be your mom for a second. Drink your water. Please, please, please. I promise you it'll make you feel even the slightest bit better. And if anything, you can give yourself a freaking pat on the back for drinking your water for the day, which can help make you feel better. At least it makes me feel better. Another thing is a claw clip. This for me is so important. I have longer hair. Um, and being able to just quickly throw it up where it still looks cute you know, like the messy cute. I can't do the messy bun. I don't know. I, I can't do it. I cannot figure out the messy bun to save my life. Um, but I know how to do the messy claw clip and I like it and it keeps the hair off my neck. It helped with, well, right before we have baby, having baby, and then after baby, I love my claw clip. It's my savior. One thing for having baby or whenever you go in to have baby right after having in the hospital is an eye mask. It helps you sleep. Again, sleep is important. It's also important, I feel like for me, I love to get things done. So whenever baby's sleeping, I feel like I try to get stuff done, but sometimes it's okay to take your nap. If you need an eye mask, I'm somebody, I like to sleep in the dark um, and I don't like light. I have a hard time sleeping whenever it's bright out. So your eye mask, if it can help you sleep, get your sleep girl, trust me. Whenever we went in to have her and I was up for almost 24 hours, I think I was up for 23 hours. By the end of that 23 hours, I felt like I was going insane. You need your sleep, trust me, you'll feel so much better. Um, obviously, if you're somebody who likes to get things done, do that. That's another thing for me that helps me get through things is my checklist. I should have put that, mentioned that first, but have an eye mask, something to help you sleep, something to soothe you. I also want to mention the hatch. This is twofold. One, my hatch makes noise or like, it's like a sound machine, which can help me sleep deeper if that's something for you that you like. But also it helps with the late night feedings because I can turn the light feature on. It doesn't wake, well, it doesn't wake my husband up, but it also doesn't like wake me up if I were to turn on the lamp. I am somebody I would like instantly wake up and be awake if the lamp were on because it's just too much light for me. But the hatch, it's enough. We can see to change your diaper. We can see to feed anything that we would need to do, but it's not so bright. And you can also change the color. I like that part too. So another thing that helps get me through. Okay, things for kind of right after having baby. Some of these are specific to whether you're breastfeeding or you have, um, a vaginal birth I that's all I know so I can't speak for the other things so this is just my own personal what helps me um, but nipple cream because whenever they first start it hurts or it can hurt even if like the latch is correct you know it's still different for your body your body doesn't know yet they can get chapped so nipple cream and then the nipple covers that are like cooling those pads are amazing there was a time in the hospital when she was just like cluster feeding and even after we came home she would cluster feed sometimes and you know stuff would hurt but having that cooling pad go on was literally life-saving I'm telling you. So if you plan to do that get the cream get the cooling covers you will not regret it I promise. Last thing with the breast feeding 
is a haka to catch your milk or to help pump. So it's just a manual silicone pump. But for me, my milk came in really fast. It came in a lot more than she could handle. So I would, if I were engorged at any point, I would just, you know, get a little bit out. She would come on. If I felt like I still had more in there after she was done, I would get the rest out and then I could save that milk. And now we've already started a milk supply. So it helps me feel better. And it also helps her because sometimes whenever you're engorged, babies have a hard time latching and really getting milk out or sometimes it's too much. So it's kind of twofold helps you and helps baby. And then you get to save that milk that would have original or would have been lost. Last couple things. This is after vaginal birth. Having the tucks with chasel pads. Again, I can't speak to C-section because I have not had that. But the tucks with chasel pads and ice packs. They feel so good. It's cool. And you need the cooling to help you with your healing down there. Just trust me. It's amazing kind of going along with that are depends so like the depends underwear that you can buy to me it's a lot better than the mesh underwear it's the mesh underwear isn't terrible but there's something about feeling more like you have regular underwear on and not this huge diaper that is very very nice especially after you've come home and you want to feel more normal but you're afraid about the bleeding and whatnot and maybe a pad like a regular pad just isn't enough having that to just act as your underwear and everything is very, very nice. It catches everything, you don't have to worry. It's that ease of mind. But again, to me, like I said, I feel like the most important is your mental stability. Talk to somebody, journal, do things for you too. Get your sleep, drink your water. It's important that you are very cognizant about your mental health. Do not push it off. If you feel like you're having depression, there's nothing wrong with reaching out if you feel that you're having these things. I am lucky that I did not go through it, although I do feel like there was a time right, or not right after having my son, but whenever I went back to work, that I probably should have reached out to somebody because I was crying every day, and that's not, that wasn't normal. So please take care of you. It's okay to reach out for help if you need it. Please, please, please. But yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe down below. I will have my reselling business, my natural skincare line, all of the things linked. I also have videos that have popped up. I would really appreciate you subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.